Hey, first grade art friends, it's Mrs. Herbe. We're gonna work a little bit more with organic shapes and monsters this week. Um, so as a quick review, um, I have out my geometric versus organic shape practice sheet that I did. And then I also have my um, monster design that I kind of came up with after I did all these exercises here that I like. And what else I'm gonna ask you to grab for this week is that fun packet of construction paper that I gave you, as well as a pencil, a pair of scissors, and a glue stick. So if you wanna go grab those things, and then we'll get started. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do this week is we're going to take the design that we created last week, and we're going to, instead of creating it out of just paper and coloring it, we're gonna create it out of construction paper. So what you're going to need to do is you can unclip your construction paper and you can kind of see um, I gave you all different colors in all different sizes and you can kind of decide um, which size might fit the type of monster that you drew. Okay. And you want to decide maybe what the main body color of you want your, that you want your monster to be. And so this piece of paper looks like it is big enough. Um, the green paper also could possibly be big enough as well, but I think I'm going to use the turquoise piece because I like that color. And I can also probably see, I'm going to see, I can use the turquoise piece this way so then I can save this top piece um, for something else maybe later on. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at your uh, shape that you drew <clears throat> last week. And again, maybe... Um, I really like this design that I created. Maybe if there are some things about your design that you created that you don't like, you can sort of make those changes um, when you go ahead and draw your organic shape um, for your monster's body. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of look at what I did last time. And I'm going to start over on this side of the paper. Um, and I'm going to come in a little bit because I need some room. I'm not going to worry about the arms because those are going to be a different color but I'm gonna just draw this shape right here. And again, it does not have to be exactly like the one before, but I noticed that it has a curve like that. And then it comes around and has another curve like that, okay? And again, I can look and see, oh, maybe, that came in a little too much and I can make some adjustments to it. Maybe I want to make the eyes a little bit bigger and rounder so I can do that by kind of coming around here like that. Whoops. There we go. There's a shape that I like. And if you draw nice and lightly, it helps you. You can, and I'm gonna leave this line here, but I think I wanna make this a little bit more curved too. And then after I draw the line that I want, then what I'm gonna do is erase the line that I don't want. So now the eyes seem like they're a little bit bigger and rounder than the ones I drew on here. But still the basic idea. And then I'm gonna look and see, okay, then it kind of came down, it went out and then around, and then it, down up here, it kind of went down and over. And then I had, there was this really fun, like, in and up and around and down and over. And that. And then it kind of came down like that. Okay. Now, again, this is not exactly like this, but it's pretty close. And it's about the same idea as what I did before and about the same size. So this is the main body, okay? 
And so what I'm going to do first is now that I have the main body, um, which is the organic shape for my monster, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it out. All right. So go ahead, take your time, draw your body, and then we'll cut it out. All right. So I hope you are able to draw your body. And now, see, I'm going to cut off this excess here. So I have, see, I have this whole other piece of paper. Whereas if I would have drawn my monster in the middle, I would have ruined this whole piece of paper. But now see how I was able to save a lot of that paper for later to do something fun. And then you guys are going to then just cut around your pencil lines. And here's the thing. Scissors are always pointing forward and just making little chomps. And then your left hand is the one that is doing the driving. I decided to make this a little wider on the bottom so I I stayed a little bit further away from that line and you can do that too if you see something you want to change as you're cutting. I might make this a little bit wider too. But notice my scissors aren't changing their direction. It's the paper as I move it around. It's pretty wiggly. Now we're going to turn the piece of paper all the way around. and making little chomps. Rotating. And voila! There is my monster body. And then anywhere where you have pencil lines showing. You can just take your eraser. I'm just going to kind of clean up that a little bit. All right. And there's my monster's body. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what are some of the other details of my monster. And I'm going to see, oh, my monster has eyes. So what I can do is I can look through my construction paper and I think I might want the eyes to be bright pink. And I'm going to show you guys kind of a cool trick. Um, if I fold, I'm going to fold the paper over a little bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle for the eye and then when I cut this out by my scissors when I cut this out Now I have two for the price of one. And I'm going to see, hey, those fit in there good. Okay. Um, so that's that. And then I see that my monster has two arms, but the arms are different. So, hmm. I think I might want to make the arms green. So I'm going to see if I have a green piece that's a little bit smaller, but I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put my piece of paper over here and kind of look and see, okay, so my arm goes up and then there's a finger and a finger and a finger and a finger. 
and then it goes like that. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer than it was because I'm going to have to glue it behind the monster. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So this is another cool organic shape. Okay, so there's my arm. And again, I had some pencil lines just erase those okay so this arm is gonna get there okay so I'm kind of looking at my plan so there's my arm my two eyes I need another arm so then I'm gonna grab my same <coughs> piece of construction paper I'm just gonna look at that arm here, let me move my paper up so you can see it. So I'm just going to look at that arm and I'm going to try to draw what I see. I'm going to start again because it kind of went up a little and then down a little. And then it went around. And again, if it's not exactly like how you did it, but you like it, then that's all that matters. And again, I'm going to make this just a little bit longer. And then I'm going to cut this one out. There's my other arm okay um, and then if I look at my plan the last thing I just have is the hair and the hair is just a bunch of different wiggly lines and you know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like all kinds of the colors of paper that I have here I have a whole bunch of them <laughs> and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, I'm going to move my monster out of the way for a little bit. So I've got all my different colors. And then I'm going to look and see, basically this hair is just all kinds of different wavy lines. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw ones that I see. So there's one. And I'm going to do another one. And then there's one that kind of goes up and over. And then there's one, another one that kind of goes up and over more like that. Whoopsie, <laughs> I got a little too carried away. There's that one. Then um, <clears throat> maybe I'm going to make some now that go the other way because, oops. Monster's going to need hair on the other side, too. Okay, so there's all my fun hair. So then what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to fix 
that line just a little bit. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these out and then we will be ready to um, put our monster together. Okay guys, now I have all the parts of my monster done. And so now I'm going to put it together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my glue stick and I'm going to put some glue on this eye. I'm gonna center that in there. Give it a massage. And I'm gonna put some glue in the middle of this one. And I'm gonna center it there. Oops. I didn't erase. Those pesky pencil lines. Erase those away. Okay. So there's that. And then I have my little hand. Now what I'm going to do for this is I'm only gonna put a little bit of glue on the top part edge. So that way I'm just going to slide it under just a little bit and then I'm going to massage it. So the back part is hidden behind the monster. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this arm where I'm going to figure out where I want it like this. And then same thing, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back, on the top of the top of it, and then I'm going to slide it under and position it and then give it a massage. And then I'm going to check on the back and see, yep, yeah, it's, it's on there. Okay. Now the last fun part for me is the hair. Okay. And I have all these different shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start gluing them on um, and see what happens. So same thing, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom, at the top, at the bottom there, and then I'm just going to start sticking. So there's one, I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom there, here's two. And then maybe I want a yellow piece. Going that way. And then here's a funky pink piece. Maybe I'll have that going that way. Here's a red one. And I've got a purple one. So the cool thing about these is they can overlap. And then I've got a light pink one. Kind of like that. So, and if I wanted to do more, I could certainly cut out more, all right? And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about, oh, I forgot a mouth. So I'm going to cut out a mouth. I'm gonna draw a smaller scrap piece of paper here. I'm gonna draw that mouth shape. And I'm going to cut it out. And then for the other parts, I'm just going to use a marker or a colored pencil to fill those in because um, they're lines and it will be easier to draw them. I'm going to roll my glue stick up a little bit. 
So there is my mouth. Okay. And there's my monster. So then what I'm going to do is I can grab, let me see, or you know what, actually I have a black colored pencil. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the eyelids. I'm going to draw the line for the eyelid that I had on here. And then I'm going to draw the eyelashes. And then I'm going to draw the eyeballs. Oops. Okay, so there's that. And now my monster is constructed from my design. So I was able to use this design to create my monster. Now, there's one more thing that we're gonna think about today. And so what I want you to do is to go grab your sketchbook or a blank piece of paper. And I'm gonna show you what the next thing we're gonna talk about is. All right, guys, so the last thing that we're gonna talk about today is a fancy word called texture. And you can write this in your sketchbook if you would like. It's T. E X Tex T U R E Text Your. Okay? And if you don't know this already, texture is the way that something feels. So I want you to go ahead and feel your hand. And hopefully your hand feels smooth. But I know in the winter when I was washing my hands a lot and using a lot of hand sanitizer, my hands felt kind of rough. So texture is the way that something feels. And if you've ever read books about monsters or you've seen pictures about monsters, a lot of times monsters have texture. And it's either because they have scales or they have fur or they have spikes. And so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna give you some ideas or ways to use lines to create texture for your monster and also for really anything else that you might draw down the line. Because what happens is unless we put um, something on the monster, right now the monster feels smooth. And so that is its real texture. But we're going to use lines that's going to, in a way that's going to give us an idea that the monster might have a different texture than the one that we're actually feeling. So what I want you to do is we're just going to experiment around with some lines. All right, so I'm gonna draw a little box here and I'm gonna write the word hairy, okay? And what I want you to do is we're going to use lines to make a hairy texture. So if I was looking at so if we make our lines like this, right? And sometimes they can be really long or sometimes they can be short. But if we draw them like kind of like that, that gives us the idea that something is hairy. There's also another way that we could possibly think about doing something that's hairy. And that is if we drew little curls, right? Because sometimes hair is curly. So we could also draw little curls that might give us the idea that something is also hairy. So I'm going to write hairy here. So it's just, but it's more curly hairs. Then let's think about if something feels rough. R-O-U-G. 
R-O-U-G-H. Sounds like when a dog says rough, but it's spelled this way. And if something's rough, sometimes it's just, I'm going to make just kind of short lines and dots. Kind of looks like sometimes if your daddy doesn't shave every day and you feel his skin kind of looks like that. Looks like whisker stubble. Okay, that can be rough. Um, another one can be something that almost feels sharp. And that can be I make these it's like I'm making these little tall mountains and that might give me the idea oh if I feel that it's sharp okay and there's one more um, that I'm gonna show you but there could be others that you might want to think about and this one is more kind of just like the fish scales. So I'm just making curve lines. Like that. And if you've ever with scales, if you pet if you touch them in the direction that they go, it feels smooth, but if you push against the direction against the direction they're going, then it feels really funky and weird kind of rough if you've ever caught a fish so I'm just gonna put scaly like that okay so these are these are at least five different examples of textures that you can think about and you can practice drawing in your sketchbook maybe just practice drawing some little curves Practice making some little lines like this. Practice your boop, 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 like this. You can practice your scales. Harry's pretty easy. You're just kind of like letting your pencil kind of go like this. And the more you do it, and it just kind of like looks hairier. The more, the more and more lines I put, the hairier it looks, right? So after you do this practice, um, then what I want you to do is we're going to think about how our monster is going to feel. And we're gonna think about some other things about our monster as well, all right? And, but before we do that, um, mostly what we wanna think about is how does this monster feel? Uh, maybe our monster has a couple different textures. Maybe the arms have a different texture than the body. Maybe around the eyes has a different texture than the hair, okay? It's up to you. And so what you're gonna do then is after you decide, then you can either take a crayon or colored pencil or even marker, but I think colored pencil or crayon is a little bit better. Um, and you're going to add texture to the different parts of your monster, okay? So in my case, um, I think I might do, um, hmm. actually, I think I might try sharp for my monster's body, at least for this main part, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a colored pencil that I think will show up. I'm gonna grab this blue color, all right? And there's my sharp texture. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just start to draw that. On my monster. I can make small ones. I can make some close together. So 
I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this body with, but I think had the, the tail might have a different texture. And what do you think? So there is my monster. And I hope that she looks, sh if you tried to touch her, you might think, ah, right? Um, then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make her tail um, curly so that it might feel softer. So I'm going to take um, a different colored pencil. I want to see what you can do is if you're not sure if a color will show up, you can take it and I can see, oh, that does work. So I'm going to make my curly texture. There we go. So her body is rough, but if you touched her tail, it might feel a little bit softer. Then I'm going to think about her arms. I think I'm going to make her arms hairy. So I'm going to take my red and I'm going to So there's my hairy texture on that arm. Boop, boop. And there's my texture on that arm. Okay. And then the last thing I have is my hair. And I think for the hair, um, it can be really anything, even though it's hair. Um, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the some of the hair rough. So I'm going to grab I think let's see. So on the green Those rough. Okay. And then I can go on and finish making the rest of these rough. All right. Once you get all of the texture on your monster, we're going to stop with those steps today. All right. If you feel so inclined and you um, want to add some other um, colors or decorations to your monster, you can. Like maybe I want to outline the lips, maybe she has a tongue, maybe, um, maybe I want to color her eyelids a color. Okay. Um, but once you get your monster all decorated, um, we're going to stop for today. Next week is going to be really fun because we are going to create um, an environment for our monster, where our monster hangs out. And I'll give you a little secret. The monster is going to be hanging out in a closet, okay? 
And so I want you to kind of think about um, this week. Think about what kind of monster is your monster? What does your monster like? Does it like to eat something? Um, what does your monster um, like to do with you? What is your monster afraid of? All kinds of fun details about your monster I want you to think about and imagine this week. And then next week, um, we'll go on to the next part of this lesson. So I hope you had fun turning your um, designed monster into a monster out of construction paper. And then I hope you had fun exploring texture and adding different textures to your monster's body. Can't wait to talk to you guys on Tuesday.